At the end of last year, I shared with you all that one of my goals for 2022 was to purchase land where I can keep my horses. Well, I'm happy to announce that I am now a proud owner of some land and a barn and some fencing and it's wonderful. I'm really excited to share it with you all and I just wanted to give you a tour of the space. A lot of work does need to be done. It is workable right now, but I of course have a vision of how I want it to be. And if you have any ideas for this property, please be sure to comment down below so I can check it out. Okay, so first and foremost, I'm gonna take you all to the barn and show you around the barnyard. So we got just over four acres in a house. Four acres may not seem like a lot and it sure didn't sound like a lot to me, but once I came out here and saw it all, I was like, that is a lot of property. And it's a lot of grass too. So I know I put a few horses on it. It will definitely be able to sustain them. And it's all usable land. It's all been fenced and it's open. So that's great news. That means we can get the most out of it. So this is the barn in the background. Let's go check it out. All right, this barn may look really small, but I was kind of surprised about just how many stalls and how much room it has. Okay, so this is the front side of the barn and this is an open space. When I saw this, I immediately just envisioned like a grooming station and I'll have cross ties here where the horse can stand. So as you can see, we have some groundhogs living in here and I've seen about five of them run in and out of this building a bunch and they've dug in through the walls and all that. So I'm just hoping if we're in here a lot, maybe they'll just want to move. Ultimate goal, like I said, gravel or bluestone in here and then lay down mats. We'll paint the walls get some cross ties, maybe like a nice shelf to put brushes on. So the next room is probably the most usable room right now just for storage and things. Um, so I'll show that to y'all. So I kind of feel like this should be the tack room and then that will be my grooming station. So that'll be nice because I can just walk right in here. So I was thinking tack room, like I mentioned, it's a little cobwebby, so I just want to take a broom and knock everything down. But the good news is the people who had this house before left us a lot of stuff to use. So these panels are great for putting hay down and shavings, of course, which I have brought over. They had sheep and cows here before, but I don't know what this is for. I was thinking saddle rack. You can see how much the groundhogs have dug in here. Look at that pound of dirt. But like I said, I think once we level off the floor, paint it, liven it up, I feel like this will be a great room. So I'm excited for this. It's already usable, which is nice. Uh, let's go to the next room. So tack room. And then this here is a stall. And look at the bottom door is like as tall as me. All right, so this is a stall. This is actually a pretty big stall. I wanna say probably like 16 by 12 maybe. So it's a good size. There's groundhog holes all over the place. The sandy footing gets really dusty, so I, I wanna try and get it out, put down gravel and mats. We just really need to clear this out. Luckily, there's fence boards that I can use in case a fence board breaks. So yeah, this is a nice big space. I don't usually keep my horses in stalls, so I don't really know what I'll use it for, but it's nice having the space if I need to, like if they get injured or if we get other animals like goats or sheep or pigs this will be a nice space. So that's the front of the barn, which is a lot of space, but there's even more space on the other side. So if y'all follow me, we'll go down this little aisle way here and actually have this door open. This is kind of like the barn aisle. So this is where it gets a little creepy. Once again, very usable space. This is the barn aisle and there's a bunch of usable things in here. So we have a spigot right here, which is nice. So I don't have to be dragging the hose around this bench that I'm actually thinking horse jump. You know, we'll clean it up, paint it. That massive stall is right here and here's a barn door actually. And here's another stall that we'll show you from the other side. Um, but if you walk down here, this is the tack room that I showed you and there's a sliding door. And then they have like some shelving, some built-in shelving. They have a blackboard, which is super cool. They have a feed, this giant feed bin. Oh, that's heavy. So that's pretty neat. And then they even said that this was a tack room and I haven't been back here. This is what I'm kind of scared of. I don't know what this is, but I know it's like a bug nest. If you know what this is, comment down below and tell us. But either way, we're probably gonna get pest control out here just cause we have a bunch of groundhogs. I've never been back here to the side of the barn. There can be mummies back here or groundhogs. Oh wow, a pitchfork. And I just went and bought a pitchfork and there's one in here. There's also halters. So that was the barn aisle. 
So now, if you walk down here, we have a few little fields. Over here is like a run-in shed, and I actually put that door on myself um, just to make it, an, you know, so you could shut it if you needed to. So you got a running shed there in a nice little area. I feel like if, you know, we can make this a dry, a little dry spot if we needed to, knowing how fat Tucker gets. Um, or just, you know, it'd be nice if a horse is injured for whatever reason, you can put them in there or if you just need to close them off. This is pretty cool. They have a sheep run. I mean, we're obviously not going to use this. I went ahead and put a barrel here and blocked it off for when the horses come over. They're not going to go in there. Around here we have another stall. So see, this place doesn't look big, but it is big. It's massive. And it's pretty dark in there, so you probably can't see, but there's just stuff in there, boards, water buckets and stuff that we can use. So a nice usable stall and space. And then back here is just stuff we need to, you know, clean up and move. We got a tractor blade, some barrels, some posts, a gate, which is nice because we're going to need a gate. And then I think this door rolls, but I'm not going to roll it just because there's stuff in the way there. But that'll be nice just to have an open barn and it can like be a breeze and stuff. So I really like that. So then this is a whole small field that the horses can have, you know, just for a smaller turnout, which I like. I like the smaller turnouts. So this is our big field here. So this field goes up and over that ridge and around that way. So what we're going to do with this, it's probably about three acres. I want to put a fence right in the middle to divide this pasture. So it'll be like an acre and a half on each field. And there, as you can see, is a ton of grass out here. So we can definitely support another horse besides Tucker. And we're going to get a companion for him anyway. But we do have a tractor, so we're going to bush hog this and clean it up a bit. We got to clean up some of the fencing and just make it suitable for horses. But this is a big space. It'll be fun to ride in and obviously keep the horses in here as well. So back out in front of the barn, there's a really nice flat fenced in area that I'm pretty sure I want to be the arena. Voila. It'll be a smaller arena, obviously, but I think it's still a good size. I don't even know how to gauge. It's bigger than a dressage arena. So we can put some jumps and obstacles down here and eventually we'll bluestone it. But since we're back out in front of the barn, a vision I see for the front of the barn is maybe putting in a fence here. So I'll fence out that way for the arena, but then bluestone and mat this. So, you know, I can tie the horses out here. Um, this can be a bathing area and I'll just have this open space to use as well and not have to worry about mud and things like that. So with new land comes new animals. So stay tuned for our next video where I'm gonna be sharing another little announcement with you guys. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.